Good morning. For the last six days, I've been talking about prophecies. Tomorrow, Monday, I will continue as I finish off this short course. But today, on this Sunday morning, I want us to turn for a while to the gospel which the lecture gives us for this day. The gospel that would have been read out if the Eucharist had been celebrated. It's taken from the 10th chapter of Matthew's gospel. And in this particular story, Jesus is talking to his followers. And he uses a strange example. He says to them quite simply, when you go into the marketplace and have a look around, you will find that they're selling sparrows, two for a penny. By the way, a penny was the wage of a working man for one day. So today, it would be something like 60 or 70 pounds. They're selling two sparrows for one penny. And then he turns to his followers and he says, I want to say to you very simply, you are of far more value than the sparrows. Far more value. Each of your lives, you're of far more value. <clears throat> now we hear that, we listen to it, and we try to understand it. But then as we look at the scriptures, we look into the gospel of Luke. And we find that Luke tells the same story, but with a slight difference. He has Jesus using the same example. And he says to the followers, not are two sparrows sold for a penny, but he says, five sparrows are sold for two pence. You see the difference? The market day traders of Jesus' day were operating in a very similar way to market traders of the present day. They were saying you can buy two for a penny, but if you're willing to pay tuppence, you get a freebie thrown in. The freebie has no real value. I feel in my ministry, as I minister to Christians, that the enemy wants to sit on your shoulders as he sits on mine and says to us quite simply, you are the freebie, you have no value at all as far as God is concerned. Not only did Jesus say you have more value than many sparrows, but you're just a freebie sparrow. You have no value. And he'll point out to you, especially in those quiet hours in the early morning when perhaps you can't sleep, he will point out to you the ways you failed and how you have been given opportunities and you hadn't taken them. He will point out to you the years that have been wasted. He'll point out to you all the achievements you should have achieved, which you never came to. Yes, he's got that sneaky way of dealing with each one of us. And I want you to stop for a few moments today and remember these two stories. Because I feel many of you feel as if somehow you were the freebie, the one who was almost thrown in without any value at all. Because Jesus wants to speak to you if you're feeling like that. He wants to speak to you. And he says the years you've lived have been important. The sins you've committed, I have sorted out through my death on the cross. The things you have not accomplished, I will accomplish for you. The people you didn't speak to, I will arrange to speak to them. The people you didn't help, I will arrange to have them helped. I will make up for all your failures. Because I have a purpose for you. Yes, for you. You who are feeling so helpless and useless. You, you think you're like a freebie sparrow. I have a purpose for you. And my purpose is that you should be part of my body. That you should be able to live in my new creation, my new kingdom when it comes about, my new heavens and my new earth. 
and you should be able to reign and operate in that kingdom with all my authority. This is your future. This is your destiny. Do not allow the enemy to tell you different. On this Sunday, raise your voices. Praise God. You are not a value of no worth. You are of immense value. You are destined to be truly a mature child of God. Amen.